Now this will all be a single story this building? Or? Yes. Yeah, right now we're not ADA at all. Not even mm -hmm. close. The other will be single floor, single story, ADA. The restrooms will be ADA. And you can see where the roof leaks. Yep. You can see the plaster falling from the ceiling. Have you ever been up in our meeting room? Never had. This is our little, it's just a kitchen area that we can, but this is, this is our meeting room. Now they were nice to turn the air conditioner off, it was like 180 in here. These probably aren't going, because we don't really use them anymore. But you can see, as the way I'm out of breath, what it's like to run up and down. How many members does the uh, fire department have? Here's something I'm hoping for. We have 40. We're allowed 50. We're 10 open. That's another thing, and it's not the reason for the building, it's just something I'm hoping. We have this nice building. We'll get some of these young guys to say, I want to join. How come you're only allowed 50? I would think uh, that. The size. You know, that was. Designated by the city of Ward back in it would take a vote of the rule board to extend it. But right now we don't need to, we only have 40. And uh, if you look at some of the names, they've been great firemen for years. But we don't, Company One don't have a lot of spring chickens in <laughs> And there's a big jump here between 88 and 97. Yeah. And even though at 46, it may seem old, but some of these things get a little hard on us, old faggot. And then we have our small, small, small meeting room for kind of old EMT meetings and stuff in there. And then a little kitchenette for lunch after the meeting. And it's getting when we're even other towns have uh, older people for EMS, and they're uh, it's hard for them to come up here to classes. So it's hard to you know have any classes or anything anymore. There's a better picture of actual protection district over there on that map of Ryan. Mm hmm Excellent. So you're pretty happy with this deal? I'm pretty happy. Good. It's been in the works. It seems like people may think that it's just appeared. 20 years ago when I got on, we were talking about it. Every year, we try to work a little bit. Well, it's not feasible. Well, no, it's not feasible. But it's getting to the point now where we need better grassroots. We need better this. We need more people. Interest rates down. Our actual plan, even with the rule board, was wait till spring, try to see what's going on, see, you know, and go like that. But when we found out the bond rates were down to 4.45, and construction material cost is anywhere, I've heard anywhere from 10 to 40 percent off of what it was six to eight months ago. Yep, yeah, well, make hay while the sun shines. And everybody needs to pray. That we do get everything in reduction row and get that a little bit of stimulus, but it would be great. Yeah. We've been, I've been working. In fact, I got that. I got a call. I've been working with Lieutenant Governor Sheehy on this, and I got a call from him on this stimulus package for actually went to public. And he emailed me the stuff, and we've been working on it diligently. I've talked to every every politician we have, Ben Nelson's office. And thanks now. Other senators. Well, I did Sullivan's, but the other U.S. senator, uh, he was the Ag Secretary of Agriculture. Yeah, me too. I can't remember, but him too. 
and uh, the governor's office. I and I've got more. I've got so much help from Governor uh, Lieutenant Governor Shea. It's unbelievable. He's been very good. Very very good help. Well, I thank you very much for the tour. Yep. And. Uh,